In Massachusetts, a driver recorded this while walking up to the vehicle of a state trooper parked along Interstate 290. Bro, I see you sleeping here every single morning, okay? Going on Facebook Live. Every morning I drive by, you're fucking sleeping. They can't even see you in the front seat, okay? The video ends before the trooper can respond. But the state police have now responded. Quote, we are aware of the video, which appears to show conduct that is clearly unsatisfactory. And we have opened an internal affairs investigation. Nick Ford, the man who filmed this, wants the investigation to include Bro, unlawful police retaliation. Okay. He says that three minutes after filming this, another trooper pulled him over down the highway for, quote, using an electronic device. Ford disputed the allegation and asked for a supervisor so he could report both the trooper who appeared to be sleeping and the trooper who pulled him over. A supervising trooper arrived and provided Ford with two complaint forms. Ford said he asked the supervising trooper to write him a ticket to have the interaction on public record, but the trooper denied that request and instead issued him a written warning. This incident happened in mid-November. The Massachusetts State Police are refusing to identify the sleeping state trooper, but say he is still on the force. Hello, everybody. I'm David Schuster, and thanks for joining us. It is not unusual for people who spend most of their day in a car or truck to pull over to a safe place and take a nap. However, in Massachusetts, there are state police protocols that apparently were not followed in this instance. Relatedly, Nick Ford said that on this particular day, the state trooper was parked close to the edge of the highway. Ford said he understands the pressures that all police face, but said that after witnessing this particular trooper sleeping several days in a row, the situation needed to be made public. Quote, that is not being tired. That is systematically stealing from your employer who is funded by my tax dollars. This isn't an accident. This isn't a one-time thing. This is somebody that was so brazenly stealing that somebody, me, risked personal issues on this road to put a stop to it. It's that bad. Ford's anger is understandable. And never mind the trooper sleeping on the public's time. The trooper obviously decided to try and get even with Ford by radioing another trooper down the road to stop and intimidate Ford. Using an electronic device means you get pulled over? Come on, that's absurd. And it underscores how ridiculous the state police trooper's actions were in this case. Sleeping on the job and engaging in retaliation is not a good look. Let me be clear. Law enforcement authorities often face enormous stress and danger, and it can be relentless. So if a cop or state trooper is exhausted and needs a break, they should get it but they should take their breaks and get their naps at a police station or the state trooper barracks. Sleeping in your cruiser along a busy highway is dangerous. It's also insulting, particularly to the people who pay your salary. Law enforcement officers, including state troopers, are public servants. If you cannot serve the public with integrity and by following your own rules, find another job.